Why yes, I am making two videos in the same day, in the same outfit, in the exact same location because let's face it, I'm having a very good hair day and we don't want to waste those. All right, so here's the question that changed my life. This is gonna be a very short video and it's a very short question, but it absolutely is the reason that I am where I am today. Living my dream life, booking destination weddings, traveling the world like crazy, living in my beautiful home here in Salt Lake City, and just free to do whatever I want. That's a song, I'm sure. It's a good song. Having that freedom, the question is this. What is the worst that could happen? What is the worst that could happen? I realized that the worst that could happen if I quit my solid steady job that I went to and received two degrees for and have worked for the last 14 years in this career, the worst that would happen to me, the very worst because I have so many people who love and care for me is I would go bankrupt, I would lose this beautiful house, and I'd be living on my parents' couch working at Starbucks until I figured something else out. That is literally the worst. That puts me, percentage-wise, still in the top 1% of having a cozy life in this world. Yes, bankruptcy is horrible. Yes, having no home and having to sell my home is horrible. Yes, living back with my parents, dare I say, could... I love my parents. I'm not even going to go there. But let's face it, that is the worst that could happen. The very, very worst. For most of you, it's very similar. Now, I understand many of you are going to say, but Darcy, I have a husband to take care of, or I have children, or we have a lot more responsibility, or a lot more things, or a lot more this, 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 this. You're going to always find an excuse or a reason why. But I guarantee you, if you are the sole breadwinner and you decide, I just cannot work this corporate job another day and you have a spouse, you need to tell that spouse, man or woman, to man up and help you make your dreams come true. They want you to be happy, happy people too. We're all here for such a short amount of time. We do not want to wait for these opportunities to come. You know, we don't want to keep saying, I'll go to Paris one day. I'll go to Paris one day. I'll go to Paris one day. I remember my first time in Paris. I moved there when I, about a week after I turned 20 years old. And I went to Versailles within that first week. And I was going down the Hall of Mirrors in the Versailles Castle chateau as they say and I saw this little old couple they were in their 80s he was in a walker they were shuffling through and the lady leaned over and said I wish we would have done this when we were younger this is ridiculous we need to sit down and they had waited their entire lives to come to Paris until they could no longer get around Paris I mean they were still there and that is wonderful and I don't want to disparage that, but the truth is, most of the time, we are the ones standing in our own way. Most of the time, the things that we imagine are going to go wrong, the things that we think are going to be the worst things in the world that could ever possibly happen to us, never come true. Think of all of the things that you're worried about. When you think of those, how many came true? I, as a self-employed person, I would say every six months, I have a tiny freak out, like, am I doing the right thing? They have gotten less and less, and this year I'm happy to say I have not had any because every year we're in business, it gets better and better and better. If we keep moving forward and asking ourselves, what is the worst that could happen? If I take this risk, what is the worst that could happen? If I do this, what is the worst that could happen? Now, if you ask that and you're just you know charging a million dollars onto credit cards to fund an extravagant lifestyle, I am not advocating that, and I think... Most of you watching this video know that I'm not talking about those kind of extremes, but I am talking about systematically organizing your life to make sure that you can take the big leap and leave your day job. Most people have so many rules around why they can leave and when they can leave. I was giving a coaching session last week, and I love the girl that I coached, and she said, I can leave my day job when I make two hundred and fifty to $300,000 a year, and then I know I can leave, which is about 2,000 photo shoots. I just looked at her and said, honey, what in the world? What kind of money is that? Who makes who makes $300,000 their first year as a photographer full time? I mean, I don't know. She might do it. But she had so many rules of safety around the parameters of what it needed to look like before she could leave her day job, that she was not going to leave her day job. We talked through a lot of that. She kind of realized she needed to let go of some parameters, have a talk with her, with her spouse about that. In any case, 
a lot of times when I coach people, they say, I can do this once this happens. They have a lot of rules and a lot of regulations set, set up in place, which are really holding you back. So if you want to leave your day job, I highly recommend it. I actually have a little plan, a academy. It's a, it's a course that goes through the steps of how to leave your day job and get into the job that you really, really were meant to have. Now, I don't recommend doing it overnight, I recommend, but I do recommend doing it within a year and at the most two years because if you can't make it happen in that time, then you really don't want it enough. So, did you like this video? I hope it didn't ramble too much, but if so, subscribe to my channel, watch my other videos. I am here to just help each and every person live the life of their dreams, push through the fear, and realize that most of the things that are holding us back will never come to pass, and good things await to those who go out and chase them and have that passion and have a strong vision and have a reason why you're doing this. And when those reasons get big enough and you know that you will not settle for a life that you do not want to live anymore, then change happens, doorways open, the path becomes clear, and you are on your way. So good luck to each of you. Please send me an email if you have any follow-up questions or you want advice on anything or you want a little coaching session, 30 minutes. Your first coaching session is free and I would love to talk to you. Have a great day. Bye.